This tutorial is on how to replace the servo inside of your Sparky with a new one. First we're going to remove the head making sure that we keep the head facing forward as straight as possible. Next we're going to wiggle off the head connector, do a wiggling motion from side to side. Try not to use too much force or you could break off the connector. Next we'll remove the servo. Again we're going to use that same wiggling motion from side to side. The next step is to remove the screw that holds the servo into place. We still have to get it apart though, so let's turn it over so we can get to the screws underneath. There are four screws that you're going to want to remove. You don't want to remove the two in the front. With the screws gone, it should pop right off. Cable from the top, but I find that's more hassle than what's worth because you have to fish it back in later, so I'm just going to leave it in. The step is to remove the existing damaged servo. You're going to press underneath it with your fingers and it should pop right out. You can grab the cable underneath and use that to you know, get out of place. It's important to make note which side you're putting the servo into. You want the side with the little black horn there, the little hole where it pivots, to be towards the center of Sparky. It's a little tight in here, so it might take a few tries to get it in. Uh, one thing to note is to keep enough of the cable outside of the hole so that you can shove it inside of the body. I prefer to ball this up and shove it underneath that front stepper motor. Now like I said, it's a little tight in here, so it might take you a little while to get it just right in there so it clicks in. But when the servo does go into the body, it'll just pop right in. Once it's in place, you can grab some of the cord and pull it in to the body so there's only a few inches sticking out through the top. That's the cord that you're going to plug into the board. But you don't want too much running around or there's going to be this big core wiggling around Sparky. So just grab up all the excess cord and just bunch it up and stuff it into the body. Now that that's in place, we're going to reassemble Sparky. To make sure that goes together smoothly, we're going to have to make sure that the hands are properly in place in their guide tracks. To make sure both hands are equally apart, I try to push them out to the sides before I close it up. Once all the parts are aligned, it should pop together smoothly. At that point, you can put back in the front two screws. Before you put in the back two screws, put in the door you're going to see two little tabs, make sure those go in the two little corresponding holes. Once that's well into place, you can clamp it shut, and then you can put back in the last two screws. Before I attach the servo connector, I'm going to reattach the giant screw that holds the servo into the main body. Next we'll reattach the sparky head, keeping the screw down 
we're going to put the point of the screw into the center of the servo horn, keeping it facing forward as much as possible. We'll go ahead and reattach the sparky cable, keeping in mind that it's very important to keep the same color all the way through. So if you have the brown side facing you on the head, you should have the brown side facing you on the connector at the body too. Let's grab the servo connector and fish it around the neck. You're going to want to take the side that has the metal strips at the bottom and you're going to want to face that down so you shouldn't see any of these metal strips. That yellow side is going to face towards the back of Sparky and the brown wire is going to face towards the front. And just wiggle it in slowly. Don't put too much force so you can break the connector. And now we're done.